Hey there folks, so this is going to be my second installation to the Ranger EV series, I guess. Um, so as you can see behind me here, we've got the uh, battery pack pulled out of the truck. Um, we'll be going over that later in the video, um, but I just wanted to do a little introduction and also do a little disclaimer here. This video is for entertainment purposes only. This is not meant to be a how-to guide. This is high voltage stuff. If you're dealing with this kind of uh, high voltage systems, this stuff will kill you. It's not, it might kill you. High voltage DC will kill you. So work on this stuff at your own risk. I'm not endorsing that you try this at home or do anything like that. Um, but hopefully if you're properly trained and you know what you're doing, maybe this will be um, a little bit informational for you. Anyway, let's get on with the video. All right, so I've got the Ranger up on the lift here. I realize most people don't have a lift that they have access to work on, but uh, my boss is cool enough to let me work on my personal projects here at the shop on the weekends, so I've got the truck up on the lift here, and we're gonna get to work removing the battery pack. So, first step is going to be to remove this bracket here underneath that's held on by these four bolts. And then that plug up there has got a pin in it. I'm gonna pull the pin and then it should just unplug. Then up at the front of the truck here, we've got this connector here, kind of on the side of the battery pack on the passenger side. Kind of hard to see, but that's gotta be unplugged too. Alrighty, let's get to it. Alrighty, so we've got the bracket removed. Get that with my electric impact here. And now we're just going to remove this pin and the lever on the plug flips up. You're gonna have to kind of flip it up and pull on the plug at the same time. So you're gonna have to use both hands here. Alrighty, there's the connector unplugged, kind of a big, bulky thing but does the job pretty heavy duty it's all like a kind of a cast aluminum thing so we got that one now on to the front all right now that we've got that rear connector unplugged we're gonna go ahead and unplug this one on the front so it's on the passenger side and the first thing is to sort of pop out that little red clip and then there's kind of a little push tab on the top of the plug. Or, oh, how simple is that? So you just pull out the tab and wiggle the plug to get it out. And it's as simple as that. Alrighty, so our next step is going to be to actually physically drop the battery pack. Now, this is a part of the process that's kind of dangerous. Keep in mind that this battery pack is very large. If this were in its original lead acid configuration, it would literally weigh a ton, 2,000 pounds. So don't take this lightly, pardon the pun. Um, this thing could literally kill you if it landed on top of you. So uh, yeah, definitely be careful with anything really heavy make sure everything's supported properly and you're gonna be safe so what I'm gonna be doing here is I've got this big steel rolling table I'm gonna lower the truck on top of the table so that the battery is just resting on it and then I'm gonna remove the six bolts to hold the battery in wish me luck here we go I'm gonna get a little bit of a time-lapse going and go ahead and get this battery pack out. Really shouldn't take very long.
Alrighty, there we have it. The battery pack has been removed. There was a little something that I left out as far as unplugging things goes. There's a connector over here on this side that needed to be unplugged that I neglected to mention. That's that really weird looking plug right there. So it's got a 10 millimeter bolt right in the center of it that threads in in the middle there and that's what holds it in. So you loosen that bolt and then the plug pretty much just slides off. Alrighty, let's get this thing opened up. Alrighty, well, with a little help from one of the neighbors at the shops next door here, got the cover off the battery pack. 100 lithium iron phosphate cells in series. Now, for those of you that know about this chemistry, you know that the nominal voltage for lithium iron phosphate is 3.2 volts, and the maximum charge voltage is about 3.6 which would mean that the nominal voltage of this pack should be 320 volts. Right now, it's sitting at about 31 volts. So, needless to say, this pack is pretty far gone, which is pretty much exactly what I had expected. Not so sure how recoverable the cells will be to recover, but um, at this point I'm thinking Maybe I might just try to stab another pack in it and see what happens. Okay, so it's the next day. I decided to do a little bit of an update. I am working on trying to recover some of these cells. It's going to be a really, really slow process, but I've just got them hooked up to a cheap little power supply here. Charging at 5 amps, which would be... 0.05 C. So far I've done this one cell right here. It seems to be uh, holding pretty steady at 2.8 volts, which is down near the low end as far as the state of charge goes. That's near what should be zero. Some of the cells are as low as zero volts and then I think the highest I've seen on the few that I've measured with the multimeter here have been at about maybe 0.7 volts, but it seems like about, on average, they're around 0.3 volts each. So we'll see how many I can bring back from the dead, but I know there's definitely quite a few that are not in such great shape. Like over here, Got a couple cells that are kind of swollen. There's a few over there on the other end too that are the same way, so those ones um, I'm not even gonna bother. I'll probably just throw those out. And maybe whatever cells are recoverable, uh, kind of depending on what I decide, I'll either maybe try to reuse them in this, but chances are I think that I'll probably end up just replacing this whole pack and then whatever I can bring back maybe I'll use for another project or uh, maybe sell them off to kind of help fund putting this thing back together so anyhow that's where we're at now I'll probably be here all day just one cell at a time Catch you all in the next one.